Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for October 23rd, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 11. The number 11 is a mastery number. It is the last number in the yogic numerological system that I use. And it is the number of invention, ingenuity, and creative expression. It is all about thinking outside the box. As they say, necessity is the mother of invention. Take a look at what it is you really seem to be needing or lacking. Then make a new plan because that circumstance is not happening the way we want. It is often because something inside is resisting or not wanting to change, but change is also the mother of invention. We will all have to embrace the new and the progressive quickly because we are officially in the Aquarian age, and it will be those that embrace the challenge that make the greatest difference in the world. There are many things that we are coming in uh, through the areas of technology and green energy. And regardless of what we want to believe, the trend is happening and that process is going to accelerate rapidly. It's time to prepare, think ahead, and make those changes happen. The astrology today. The sun goes into the deep and sensitive sign of Scorpio. The sun will be there until the 21st of November. This next month, Put on your wetsuit because we are all going to be diving deeply out of the superficial and into the secret world of the scorpion. While we may want to get to the bottom of something, the truth is that emotionally we are going where no man has gone before. <laughs> on so many levels, we are in completely uncharted territories, and that is going to continue for decades. I hope that we have the maturity as a group to be able to embrace this new world with the intent to bring hope and good things to those that need it most. This wonderful astrological sign makes us quietly look at the to the provocative and the secrets hidden in our world. It makes us embrace our passionate, willful, and wild side. Doing just that is exactly what is needed to promote healing and massive changes that can transform us out of our shell and into a freer being. Just watch out for the negative side of the sign that is manipulation, pettiness, and jealousy. We don't need any more of that in our world. As we progress through this next month, it is important to keep certain things personal and private, especially new ideas that are outside of the box. We are breaking free of our old patterns, but that can be a very vulnerable feeling and not something we want others to take a pot shot at. We are going to investigate new possibilities. We are attracted to the challenges ahead. We recognize that to heal, we have to first be willing to tell ourselves the truth and fix the obvious that is right in front of us. It will be an exciting month. My quote for today. We are in the times of darkness coming in. We are hearing the voices of those from deep within. Halloween is coming and there is much to do. There are many gifts that come when we listen to the changes that blow in through the air, the effort it takes whew, as we climb the stair. The seasons that change make us recognize that we too are wearing a disguise, one that our shadow wants us to see, but others know that we hide behind that tree. The costumes we pick for the season of change are a way to embrace hidden parts that want to rearrange how we perceive our internal strife and how we can embrace being larger than life. Okay, and my blog for today, um, I've been working on a personal project um, to look at the ancient Sumerian story of the descent of Inanna. Um, it's very apropos for this time of the year as, as we go into the darkness. And, you know, I think uh, on so many levels, people feel emotionally like they've been doing their own personal descent um, into the darkness. And this is a story of how a fertility goddess, Inanna, chooses to descend into the underworld to support her sister, Ereshkigal, in a time of great upset. As Inanna is the goddess of light, love, and life, her sister is the goddess of darkness, the underworld, and the places where the gods are, where the good are rewarded and the evil is punished. This becomes a story of the inherent nature each of, of, of each of us as we battle to integrate with two very different sides. In the story, we go into the underworld. Inanna must lose everything that she holds dear, as do all of us in any death process. Each gate she passes through, something is taken from her, her beauty, powers, immortality, wealth, until she is naked and vulnerable in front of her sister. Her sister is in a fury and strikes her dead and then hangs her on a meat hook 
to rot in the underworld forever. But Inanna has anticipated this and had those that supported her that would come for her. They negotiated with Ereshkigal and were allowed to release Inanna after offerings to her and the dead. Ereshkigal was the goddess of the injustices inflicted on the living and the bringer of balance to those injustices. But Inanna, once released, was forever changed. Every gate she passed through as she climbed the stairs going back up into her heavenly abode, she, yes, reclaimed her powers, yes, reclaimed her beauty, wealth, and jewelry, and she suddenly, though, saw things differently. She understood the suffering of mankind better and gained great compassion, kindness, and understanding. She became more whole, and she understood the cycles of life and death in a more personal way. Too often in life, we want to be light polarized. We want to be like a beautiful goddess of light and love, but often we have not yet suffered. We lack an understanding of the trials and tribulations of life. It is only through our own descent into the darker realms of our psyche that we finally claim honest compassion and true kindness within. Because we are both light and dark, we are both Inanna and Eshkrigal. We must learn to embrace the shadows within and be willing to be struck down in order for us to understand that unique and delicate balance that this life offers. In celebration to the darker parts within, I have a poem that's next that is my personal offering to Eshkigal. I might be butchering this name, I'm sorry. And, um, and to, it also is a personal offering to my darker side. So enjoy. Eshkigal. I am the keeper of the beloved dead. I am the holder of all things left unsaid. I am the creator of the afterlife. I am the remover of man's pains and strife. I am an angel with downward pointing wings. I have listened forever to mankind's screams. I am the dark while Inanna is the light. I am the antidote to the suffering of mankind's plight. I was born in the time when women were the keepers of truth. I am not popular to cultures who favor beauty and youth. I am the dark passage that all women must face to become their true self with a more balanced grace. To become whole, you must face me, your darker half. I am the emotions you fear and you must face my wrath. I take the shallow and selfish tendencies of women and men and show the cost of those choices again and again. My palace is in the underworld. It is a place of no return. Once a soul is in my domain, they must face what they did not learn. I call out those souls who never owned their words of wrath. I listen to the cries of the guilt that they left in their aftermath. To transform their old self must to transform their old self must die. Only in death can a soul no longer lie. None see my pain, nor do they care. All I desire is some fresh food and clean air. In my realm the water is mud and the food is dust. Give me offerings and earn my trust. Feed me first, and perhaps my heart may heal. Respect my position and I may listen to your appeal. To retrieve your goddess of light and life, a sacrifice must be offered with your own knife. I am the ultimate judge of right and wrong. I balance injustice and deserve a great song. If your heart is unafraid of the secrets you hold and the dreams that you made, follow me into those places so dark that the light within you must be stronger than a spark. Perhaps if you call to those who before you have passed, even to those ancestors who felt disowned and outcast, they will protect you as you move into my realm. Perhaps then, with their support, this domain will not overwhelm. Follow me in, if you dare. Follow me in, if you truly care. Follow me in, if your love is stronger than my grief. Follow me in, if you seek to give Inanna relief. Thanks, everyone.